Good afternoon from Yami B TV. Wishing you all well, sending loads of love as usual. Right, we get round to one of my favourite topics again, I'm afraid. And it comes from one of my follow long-term followers, Dave Number, quite rightly asked, how come Uncle Yami, Levi Belfield, hasn't been done in, maimed or attacked since he's been in the Cate system? We'll take it back to the very top. When he got arrested, he went to HMP Belmarsh. The incident between me and him happened after he left the mosque and was walking away, escorted by screws. He was spending time down the segregation in isolation. He could possibly also at some stage in Belmarsh even been on the unit in isolation or mixing. I don't know. It's just a rumour because I wasn't there long enough. I also hear that he did go on normal location for the first couple of weeks because when certain individuals with those kind of cowardly, callous, horrific crimes first get arrested, they chance their arm by going on the wing and saying, it's a stitch up. I didn't do it. I'm going to prove it to you all when I get to the Crown Court. Many men have tried that one over the years. But hey, if you saw him on normal location, like the wings that we, us lot, the ones that weren't on 43 or on protection for whatever reasons, the general population, if you saw him, you let me know where it was, what happened and how he was and why nothing never happened to him then, yeah? All right? So I don't know. I don't know. But when I was there, he definitely wasn't on the normal general population wing. Right. Now, Belfield converted to the lovely Muslim religion and faith. Right. Now, in history, for all my knowledge, all my experiences, everything I've seen with my own eyes over a lifetime, especially in the category A's. When you are on Rule 43, which is the protection wing, in some cates, you can come across to Friday afternoon prayer or the Church of England uh, service escorted by screws to participate in the service with the general population. Why? Because there's not, in most cat A jails, enough facilities or two chaplain, two chapels of, of some kind in one prison at any given time. So the facilities and staff and that kind of stuff, there's even been times I hear uh, on that Rule 43 wing, they make up a little room themselves in a video room and have their service there. But no, I saw it in Whitemore, I saw it in Larton, etc., etc. Rule 43s can be escorted into the Muslim service or Church of England church service or Catholic service or the Buddha service, whatever service it is, and sit with the general population. In history, it's very unusual for anyone to really get attacked in a godly place, if you get what I mean. And throughout my times in the Cates, uh, there were murmurs and mumberings when certain men came over from the Rule 43s to participate in the Muslim service. But did they get attacked? No. So I'm saying that, yes, he was coming across to the Muslim service when able to do so, when facilities allowed them to do so. And he would come across and try his manipulative, conniving little ways that I've changed. Uh, I'm with God now and, you know, I regret my sins and that. And the real godly people in the brotherhood, especially, you know, he without sin cast the first stone, bless their hearts, will say, well, you know what? If you are, you are. You be deep. It's not for us to judge you. It's for the Father in heaven or Allah to, try to judge you. So that they're, they're the true believers, not because they're protecting this and protecting that. Do you get it? The reason why he hasn't been attacked and maimed, and let's get this perfectly right. In the old days, Peter Sutcliffe got his eye taken out. In recent times, Ian Huntley is in serious isolation on his own, guarded by uh, a couple of screws where nobody gets to see him, but someone got down there to get him. 
there's even Jeremy Bamba, who had been on, on in the early days was on normal location that ended up having to go on Rule 43, where I know for a fact a man sent a man over to the full on purpose to put himself on Rule 43, uh, and whilst he was on the phone, got his throat cut. Fact. So you can get it on a Rule 43 wing. The difference being, of course, a lot of vulnerable men over there. Not vulnerable as in, you know, to me and you for the horrific crimes. It's they, they know that they're cowardly and what they've done is really bad and it's not to be accepted on normal locations. So they leg it over there and they, they feel safe over there. So he ends up in Franklin, Rule 43 protection where he's big, he's powerful, a lot of vulnerable men over there, and they won't be much of a threat to him, uh, to be honest. But we're saying so far, nobody hasn't got to him. But it doesn't mean at some stage that they won't. But that's how it can work uh, when you see. I can't imagine, because I, I I wasn't in the Cat A system, I don't think when he was in Franklin, uh, uh, for to hear whether he was leaving the category A uh, vulnerable protection unit in Franklin to go to Muslim prayers with the general population in Franklin, maybe some other men will be able to answer that and then we can ask them how can it be accepted and how and why, but my view is nothing, nothing's done until it's done, <laughs> I mean and it, it hasn't happened yet if you get what I mean, but at some stage, I would bet my last dollar that it really does. So I hope I answered that for you, Dave Number. But that's how it works as far as I remember. Sending loads of love. Be up soon.